It's a cloudy and rainy June 15th, 2010, and this is just a little update of the garden. This row broccoli didn't do quite well. The uh, rabbits really got in there and took a few of them out. Two rows of Roma tomatoes doing very nice. Lots of little Roma tomatoes on there. Another half a row of broccoli. And this broccoli did okay. I uh, got some heads about the size of your fist. Just a little too hot when they were coming on. But I'm starting to get some good some good side shoot production there. But a lot of it has kind of gone bad before it even got the size. But not too bad. Very, very good. Straw potatoes. Really liking the rain. Starting to flower. And this was peas. This empty spot was peas. They were ripe about Memorial Day and it was hot that week. And didn't stay too long. They were all ready all at once. And a couple of volunteer sunflowers from when I had the garden last year. Beans, beans are on. They're doing pretty good. If only I could get in there and pick some, I'd have beans tonight, but it is a muddy mess. And this is my last succession planting of beans. Should be up in a day or two. And real quick, I want to show you guys something. I've already got a ripe tomato. There's a ripe cherry tomato in there, and there's a couple of them. And right in there is a ripe cherry or regular tomato. So I did get them before the 20th, so that makes me happy. And it's about 50 days when that's how you figure it. 50 days when they started flowering. Uh, they were flowering about May 1st, so June 20th. It is about 50 days. Onions. Onions are doing pretty good. And these are, this is a whole row of cherry tomatoes. Almost to the top rung there on the concrete reinforcing wire. And these are just regular slicing tomatoes. And pickling cucumbers. There's zucchini in the back. And the melons, these are musk melon and some watermelon in the back. And they're starting to flower, so not bad. Need some heat and some sun to get them going. And sweet corn, sweet corn really jumped. Doing pretty good. It's about, that sweet corn there is about almost waist high, not quite. And my succession planting. And another one right there. And this is the, in back of the high tunnel there where you can't see. Some dill. Some sunflowers. Uh, this is uh, slicing, more slicing cucumbers. And these are pumpkins. And some squash in the back. Squash got a little bit of a fungus, but they look like they're pulling out of it. Uh, zinnias. I like to plant flowers in the in the veggie garden just to get the pollinators in and they're and they're pretty they're fun to look at some really weedy carrots and I might just till them under instead of weeding that mess beets and more carrots so that's it everything's doing quite well hopefully we get some sun some heat keep things going here